everyone and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since I wanted to do a kind of like green emerald makeup look but I just never did so recently I opened the Jaclyn Hill palette which is her first palette well I want to say second palette which is this one right here and I really like this shade right here so I just figured I would do something like that something with those colors I know by the time I post this video it's going to be April already so March is going to be gone and actually this look would have been perfect for March but I did film it a little bit too late but it's okay I still like this color and I'm going to be doing something with that color so if you guys want to see how I create the look please make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah let's go ahead and get started so first of all I'm gonna start with my eyes just because it's going to be a lot of shades and I don't want to mess up any of my face but just because my face is feeling a little bit dry I'm going to be spraying the Smashbox primer water quite a lot just so my face can really my skin can really absorb all that moisture then I'm going to be applying my eyeshadow shields, which are these right here. You guys have seen me use these eyeshadow shields. And I'm going to be applying these on my eyes. Not mainly for the fallout because, I mean, I'm still going to be wiping away some of the fallout. But I like to use this to create this, this crisp line right here. So I'm going to be applying these right here just like this and I think I also have these listed on the bottom description I do get them from eBay they are super super affordable so I think I do have those listed under there let me just fix this one cuz so now I'm going to be prepping my eyelids and I'm going to be using uh, the Mac paint pot in the shape painterly and I'm just going to be using a Morphe M173 brush it's just like a fluffy brush like this and I'm gonna be applying this all over my lid and bring it all the way over here to the brow so now I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit of powder and then just setting my eyebrows in place you can use any setting powder. I'm just using the Too Faced Ethereal Powder. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. So now I'm going to go right into the shadows. So once again, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I do have the old packaging. The new packaging, I think it's a little bit, it's easier to clean. And these are the shades right here. So I'm going to start with my transition shade. And I'm just grabbing a MAC 217 brush. And I think I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to start with this one right here, which is called Silk Cream. And I'm going to be applying that all over my transition shade. If you guys don't know what a transition area is, it's where the crease and the lid is, like kind of in between there. That's where the transition area is. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding a darker color and I'm going to be adding this shade right here, which is called Pooter. And I'm also going to be applying that in there just to build up the shade. Okay, so now I'm going to be grabbing a shading brush. This is a Morphe M208 brush. It's just a big um, shading brush. And I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, which is called Jada. I'm guessing Jada. And I'm going to be applying this all over my lid. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but it's going to look... Um, good at the end. So now I do want to add a darker shade on my crease 
So I'm just going to be using this Luxie brush. This is a Luxie 231 brush. And I'm going to be going in with this dark green right here, which is called Enchanted. And I'm going to be actually mixing these two just so it won't be that dark. And I'm gonna be applying this on my crease. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to be doing a halo eye. So I'm just going to be grabbing a concealer and this is just the Morphe concealer. You can grab any concealer that you have in hand. And then I'm just going to be grabbing a small brush and this is a Morphe M4, Morphe M421. It's just a tiny brush like this. And I'm going to actually be doing a halo eye. And I'm gonna grab this mirror because it's easier for me to do it super close. And then while it's still wet, I'm going to be grabbing another brush. It's easier when it's still wet because if you let it dry, it's going to be harder for the other shadows to stick to it. So I'm going to be grabbing a Morphe M434, which looks like this. And I'm going to be grabbing the shade Pool Party. Oops, Pool Party, which is this nice blue one right here. And I'm going to be adding that on the center of the lid where I applied this concealer. That is so pretty. We are going to go back and deepen up that green just so it doesn't lose its, its pigment. I'm going to go back to the actual palette and I'm going to grab my Luxie brush once again. And I'm going to be applying the same shade which was Jada. And I'm just going to be deepening up this shade right here because as you all can see we lost a little bit of that shade. And I'm just going to be grabbing a Morphe M433 going back into the enchanted shape, which was that dark green. And I'm going to be defining my crease a little bit more. Now I'm going to be removing these just so I can fix my shadows to see if I have anything to fix and as you all can see I do have quite fallout right here so I'm just going to be cleaning that so I do want to deepen up this a little bit right here so I'm going to be adding a little bit of the enchanted which is a dark shade just so this middle shade can pop a little bit more because right now I'm losing a lot of the pop so I just want to add a little bit dark shade so the middle part can actually pop. Okay, so now that I have my eyes, um, I'll go back later on to see what I need to fix. But right now I'm going to be applying my foundation, eyebrows, and lashes because once again, you guys have seen how I do my foundation my eyelashes and eyebrows so just to save some time i'm going to be applying that and i'll be right back okay so i already applied foundation as you all can see i set my face with powder i did my eyebrows i did do a little bit of a wing liner i did my eyelashes contoured bronze you all know how i do this so i just wanted to do that real quick so we can move on so i'm gonna move on to my under eye so for my under eye, I am going to be using a flat definer brush and I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is called Enchanted. And I'm going to be stamping this super close to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be grabbing the shade Jada, which was that green one. And I'm just going to be buffing all of this under my eye. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be applying 
a eyeliner which you all know which one i'm going to use because it's my all-time favorite eyeliner and it's in the this is the sephora coal liner in the shade cocoa so i'm just going to be applying this on my waterline I'm going to be coating my lashes with mascara. And then for blush, I'm going to be using a combination of these two shades right here. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using these two shades right here from the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face just so the highlight, just so I can apply a little bit more highlight and have a sticky base so it can stick to. While this is drying on my skin, I'm gonna be applying a little bit of highlighter to my inner part of my eye right here. and also on my brow bone. And tip of my nose. So I'm gonna be applying a little bit more highlighter on this area right here. So now moving on to my lips, I think I just want to do something very nude. So I'm going to be adding the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade School Girl and I'm going to be adding something on top of it. So on top of that, I'm going to be adding the ColourPop lipstick in the shade Uno Mas. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of translucent powder on top of that just so it can set it in place and make it a little bit matte. Also, it's going to make it a little bit lighter. So once again, I'm going to spray my face and I didn't even tell you guys what I was using, but this is the Mario Badescu facial spray and this is the orange blossom one. so this is it for this video this is the look it looks so pretty i really like these shades they are absolutely gorgeous and i did it only using the jacqueline hill palette so even though my eyes look a different shade than the actual shades you can mix all these shades with different shades from the same palette and it gives you like different shades so sometimes you do need to experiment with shadows because at first i was like I mean, I like the shades, but I can't really do much with colors, but you can always mix them. And as you guys can see, I mixed three shades and look at the makeup look, look that I created. Like it's so pretty. And yes, yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you follow me on my social media and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>